what is going on guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed that little beginning part. I click the like button right now if you guys actually thought that was cool. Then I'll just do mini edits in the beginning of my how to's, showing you guys how to do the tricks. I've never seen anyone do that, so I thought it was kind of cool. So everybody, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys click the like button right now, because I'm going to teach you guys how to opposite tail whip, aka how to heal. Okay, let's go. Alright, so before you guys learn how to heal up, you guys might want to learn how to tail up. If you guys haven't learned how to tail up yet, make sure to click the card right there. I have how to tail up, how to tail up catch, and how to double up. But then I totally bypassed how to heal up, so that's what this video is going to be. So make sure after you guys are done watching that, and you guys learn how to tail up, make sure to come back to this one, and I'll teach you guys how to do an opposite tail up. But alright, let's get into the actual how to. So what you guys want to do first is learn how to form the heel whip. Just like that. I kick it with my back foot because it feels more comfortable. It's just like how I kick my tail with my... I don't know. It's just easier because even when I whip rear ride, I go like that. And I do whip rear rides awkward. Hey, if you guys want to see how to whip rear ride, comment down below because I can do them pretty well. Uh, heel whips. So what you want to do is just kind of kick your foot out just like that. Just like go like that. So now when your scooter's on it, just kick your foot out. See? It comes out real quick. Now what you guys want to do now that you learned how to kick it, what you guys are going to want to do is learn how to keep the scooter under you. So when you go to flick it out like that, push the bars forward. So this half of your bar goes inward. You see what I mean? Out, push the bar forward like that. Not like that, but kind of like your hands. See? Now that you guys learned how to like kind of like Flick it and keep it under you. What you guys are gonna want to do now is of course try to like actually do the trick. So when I do the trick, I make sure to jump as high as I can. That's how I did it when I was first learning how to do it. I just jumped, started to whip, and like you want to kind of like get already to halfway around when you're at the peak of your jump. And then you guys are gonna want to learn how to bring it back. That's the key part of any trick, is like bringing it in. Like throwing it up, that's easy. Or even like let's say a breath flip, throw it up, that's the easy part. Now bringing it down, that's gonna be the part that's actually gonna be the hardest part to land. You know what I mean? Same thing with the heel whip. You can whip it all the way around, but you guys are not good at the second part. You guys are getting good at the first part, that part, you guys aren't getting good at bringing it in. You know what I mean? Like this, that part. So what you guys want to do now is once it's right here, start getting good at putting it, you're bringing it into your foot. Just like that. You just want to keep it under you. So whip, flick it, and then just learn how to keep it under you. Okay? Just get good at bringing it into you like that. That's how I do it. That's how everyone does it. But yeah, so you're just jumping, heel whip. See what I mean? It's pretty easy. You're like the top of your jump, like where, like right there when you're about to come down, you already want to be halfway around. Or even maybe even a little bit more than half. You're the first half of the trick up, Second half coming down. Another good way how to like practice doing the trick and forming it is of course like kind of like how I did the tail whip thing, like this, like that, vice versa for a heel whip. Just like that. So when I'm saying when I'm saying like keep it at your max jump, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean right now. I think that's pretty much it on how to heel whip. That's basic, that's it, 100%. I said this in the How to Tail video and it helped tremendously. So, um, if you guys go out and you believe in yourself, believe in yourself that you're gonna go outside and you're gonna land the trick, 95% of the time you're gonna go out and land it. Let, like, I'll use an example. So, let's say you're trying to get an Instagram clip, you're super close in the beginning, more and more tries and then you just started to like, shut down, you're like, dude, this is not gonna, I'm not gonna land this, I'm not gonna land it. It keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Until you just get so mad that you're like, I'm landing this, I'm overdoing this, I wanna land it. Then you go and land it. Uh, just go outside, listen to my tips, go outside, land it, and I guarantee you guys will land it first try. Remember, kick it out like that, bring it in, keep your feet up, you got it. All right, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. Um, comment down below in the next how to you guys want me to do because I always do the card thing. And I always forget to look, and um, I more so see the comments than I do the card. I feel like the comments are a little bit more personal, and I actually will get down to it more than I will the freaking cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.